Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon, good early evening to the folks out there on the East Coast, Florida area. Uh, it is uh, Tuesday. We're expecting the arrival of Hurricane Adalia later on late tonight, early tomorrow morning, as it sits at a Category 2 strength hurricane off the coast of Florida right now. Current information here as of 5 p.m. Eastern Time. This should update here soon, hopefully within the next hour. We got 100 mile per hour sustained winds there. I'm sure some gust above that. Category 2 strength hurricane. It is moving due north right now at about 16 miles per hour. We are expecting that to curve a little bit towards the northeast as uh, it makes its landfall position there across the Florida area. Right now, there's still current hurricane warnings in effect here across the area in the red. Tropical storm warnings in the blue. Again, headed off towards the north at about 16 miles per hour. Uh, radar bands here. We are getting uh, some pretty strong thunderstorm bands here ahead of the main area of circulation, which you can see it spinning off the coast here of Florida. Um, to me, it almost looks like it wants to track a little bit further to the east here. Just looking at this observation, which would maybe put Tampa here in a strong area of uh, thunderstorms and rain and wind. Either way, we'll continue to watch that and update it. But this is the last six hours of radar data. And of course, there's going to be all these convective bands here bringing in quite a bit of rain. The main area offshore, though, that's where the strongest winds are uh, and sometimes the heaviest amount of rainfall. Here's another view of it spinning off the uh, Florida coastline. Now that is a uh, beautiful image here. Look at all this convective activity just bubbling and boiling out here across the area of the Gulf Coast. A lot of warm water out here. And it uh, looks like it may be just starting to get an eye wall right here in the center. If you look closely, you're right about there. We might be seeing an eye wall develop here in the next couple hours as that uh, it doesn't really have a lot of time here to gain strength. But again, the current latest info is 100 mile per hour sustained winds from the National Hurricane Center itself. Uh, very close to seeing those tropical storm force winds here along the area around Tampa Bay. And of course, the hurricane force winds are going to be within this little center. You can't really see it too much. It's underneath the X, uh, but that's a confined area of that uh, maximum sustained winds there around that eye wall. They are expecting it to be a Category 3 strength hurricane, at least according to the folks here. Uh, on the Wonderground site, uh, it is strengthening. Remember, it uh, looks like before landfall, we could have sustained winds around 111 to 129. We're pretty close. I uh, remember we're at, uh, we are at 100 right now. So as this thing strengthens, it will continue to pick up in wind speed. Uh, current information here. Uh, this is actually a pretty important site from the FloridaDisaster.org site uh, for current evacuation orders uh, throughout the state of Florida. Here's the evacuation map. Of course, uh, red here is going to be in uh, some serious stuff, going to be the mandatory evacuations out here. Uh, of course, for the latest and in local information with regards to Hurricane Adalia and areas to uh, head to, far as uh, uh, shelters go, uh, this is the site to review. Ready.gov, shelter, Florida, uh, floridadisaster.org shelter information. Uh, so go to floridadisaster.org and you can find all this information here. Again, uh, voluntary um, evacuations in the yellow, mandatory are going to be in the red. And uh, there's quite a bit. Orange looks like it's going to be uh, information um, for those counties. Uh, so definitely check that out if you're out there in that uh, region. Expected intensity map here. Uh, these are knots. This is not miles per hour, so this is definitely going to be stronger. Looks like the majority of these models still consistent with a strong Category 2. Like I say, we're, we're already up there. Maybe reaching into the Category 3 strength level. And that's uh, dependent on how quick it picks up or if it slows down. 
Here's the uh, infrared imagery. Shows that area of circulation here. Looks like it's starting to get that eye wall. Here's the Florida coast. You can see the outline right here, just barely. Heaviest winds are going to be right around this area. Tropical storm force winds will be out in the outer bands. Of course, there's already convective bands way ahead of it. Uh, but this is going to be the area of the most damage, the most storm surge. And, uh, you know, right now it looks like it's just heading up into that area, right where they say it's going to um, hit, right in this region here. That puts it uh, right around the Cedar Key area, I believe, or just north of there. So uh, it's it's a it's a short time away, folks. It is picking up steam, picking up speed, and uh, just a matter of time before that makes landfall here later tonight. And again, they're still estimating. Uh, let's see here arrival of winds now these are going to be the tropical storm force winds eight o'clock we're guess they're estimating right here 8 p.m local time that's going to be happening uh, pretty soon there because it is four what is it four o'clock five six seven o'clock over there tropical storm winds will be hitting around the tampa bay area uh, and then um, of course arrival of tropical storm force winds here north around uh, 2 a.m. Wednesday morning. That's, you know, tonight after midnight. And then the eye wall, of course, will come in with the brunt of the um, of the wind speed and damage. Rainfall still expected to be pretty heavy across this area. Uh, six to ten inches listed there across areas of uh, well, it looks like Tallahassee is included now. This has shifted slightly to the west. Notice that the rainfall accumulation. Uh, I think this was a little bit more east in this morning's update. So things are rapidly changing. Uh, seems like every time I refresh this page, there's new information here. So um, just want to keep uh, folks updated out here. The story. The peak storm surge is still expected within this area. Uh, the Osceola River area down to Yankee Town, it looks like. 7 to 11 feet. Potentially higher, though, <clears throat> it looks like. 12 plus feet in the purple. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, those are the mandatory evacuation zones out there. Tampa Bay looks like anywhere between uh, 4 to 6 feet. This is going to be peak storm surge. Hopefully it's not that high, but uh, they do issue these warnings out here if the conditions are right. Pretty important to pay attention to this. Uh, the latest public advisory here is put out with the 5 p.m. Eastern update. Uh, now Category 2 strength hurricane, life-threatening storm surge and hurricane conditions expected along the uh, portions of the Gulf Coast and Florida tonight and Wednesday. Uh, there's your maximum sustained winds again 155 kil kilometers per hour just fyi heading off to the north 16 miles per hour pressure still continuing to drop there at 972 mb uh see if there's been anything added here next advisory at 8 p.m so it looks like a couple hours uh eastern time so yeah about an hour or so we'll get a further update i'm just seeing if they added anything else in here additional strengthening is forecast and uh adalia is expected to become a major hurricane tonight before it reaches the big bend coast of florida it looks like now Dahlia is still expected to be a hurricane while moving across southern Georgia. And it's possibly and possibly when it reaches the coast of Georgia or southern South Carolina on Wednesday. So uh, we'll have to watch this and see how this thing holds up. Let me check out the latest model here uh, for the area around Florida, the GFS model. This gives us good indicator of pressure and the rainfall accumulation rate out here. Yeah, it still holds together pretty good right there. Look at that. Still got some deep pressure, 979 as it reaches Georgia. South Carolina raising up a little bit, but still 
988. It uh, looks like 994 there over South Carolina. So no doubt this still could continue to be a hurricane as mentioned in their update um, for Wednesday. And then after that, uh, still kind of curious to see if this thing's going to back, go back around here and uh, pick up some steam. We'll have to see how that plays out. But either way, that's it. That looks like the uh, at least the GFS model showing this area getting the main brunt of the system. And most of the time here, we see that uh, wind, the highest wind speed here on the east, uh, eastern or northeastern side of the eye wall. And uh, that's going to be a bad spot to be. That's going to be the highest wind damage. And, of course, uh, all the storm surge that comes along with all of this. Uh, we'll keep an eye on things. If there's anything else that updates here soon, we will um, do an update on it. Uh, but for now, uh, we'll get back to the live stream here. I ended the uh, tropical live stream there. There just wasn't enough interaction going on. Uh, I couldn't really find uh, anyone that let me use their webcam out there for access uh, with the live stream. Uh, so I uh, just went ahead and ended that. And I'll provide updates out here as far as the latest information goes with uh, Hurricane Adalia. All right, folks. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later. Remember, the most recent accurate information is going to be found here on the National Hurricane, Hurricane Center, NOAA.gov website. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight. Have a good one.